There are four muscles, and you can remember them using the acronym SITS. So this is a lateral view, a side-on view of the scapula. There's a subscapularis, which is the only one that lies in front of the scapula. Infraspinatus lies below the spine of the scapula. Supraspinatus lies above the spine of the scapula. And teres minor is the only one that the name doesn't really suggest where it lies, but it lies posterior to the scapula and inferior, so just under infraspinatus. This is another view, and it shows the anterior view on the left and the posterior view on the right. So anteriorly, you can see that most of the scapula is taken up by the subscapularis, and you can see supraspinatus peaking up from the top. And posteriorly, you can see the position of supraspinatus and infraspinatus, and then teres minor is also attaching from the scapula. And in terms of what they do, this is, I think, a table that you probably need to go away and study, and it's probably what you need to know for clinical examination. So supraspinatus carries out abduction, so moving the arm away from the body. So if it's inflamed, it will result in pain as you bring the arm up away from the body. Infraspinatus is important for lateral rotation, as is teres minor. So both of those muscles in clinical examinations tend to go together. So lateral rotation is also called external rotation. If you fix your elbow to the side and move your hand out, that's the movement that you would get. And subscapularis carries out medial rotation as well as adduction. So it does the opposite. If you put your elbow to your side and bring your hand in, subscapularis is primarily responsible for that movement. And in terms of the nerves, the supraspinatus and infraspinatus, you should remember that they both go along the spine and they're both innervated by the suprascapular nerve. Teres minor is innervated by the auxiliary nerve and subscapularis is innervated by two nerves. And we'll come on to nerves next week in a bit more detail and we'll go over this again. So primarily I think you need to remember from this slide the movements and the muscles.